What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinist. And once again, we are live from IMTS 482 in Chicago. And right now, we are at the Heimer booth, joined by Andreas Heimer. Nice to meet you, guy. Hey, and okay. Brett Holm. Hi, Ian. What are we looking at right in front of us here at the Heimer booth? This is a highlight from this show for me so far. Oh, thank you, it certainly is. So this is actually a Panther that we've machined with our tooling in-house in Germany because in Germany we are the sponsor of the Augsburg Panther Hockey Club, which is like the NHL level uh, hockey in, in Germany, and we sponsor them. And so as a gift to them, we made a Panther that, uh, as you can see, is very detailed using our tools, some of our technology, like the mini shrink things to get details inside the mouth of the Panther. Those teeth are perfect. And for those of you guys who have not used really small tooling before, chatter, vibration, huge issue all the time. I'm not seeing any of that in there. No, no. exactly. Absolutely, no, Heimer is very well known in the industry for 5-axis machining for shrink fit tool holders, but we have so much more to offer, and that's what we want to show with this really eye catcher, because we have great tools, a lot of geometries, that's why we are here on this corner, so if we're moving a little bit over there, because that's just a piece of art in my opinion. A nice one though. It's a very nice one and uh, five axis machining, but here we have a lot of our geometries that uh, we are showing here, cutting tools, uh, high end cutting tools, modular systems, solid end mills. Ideally for five axes, if you look at those beautiful setups, you know, you can really machine from dyeing mold to aerospace, from finishing to roughing. Heimer has a lot of solutions, not only shrink for tool holding, but rounded off by a lot of great cutting tools, friend. Absolutely. So, for instance, the modular system's called dual lock. It's a really rigid connection. We can go up to inch and a quarter, actually an inch and a half as far as the actual threaded on Oh, style. that's threaded in there. That's threaded in, wow. yeah. So it looks like shrink fit because yeah. we're known for shrink fit, but this is actually a thread on system. So if you need the deep reach, if you're doing you know difficult to machine parts, uh, you know, in the past you'd have to buy a piece of carbide that was that long. So the cost was crazy. So crazy. now we can do it in a modular system without sacrificing performance on the actual cutting process. Because that is also, I would imagine, vibration damping. It is, it is. Absolutely. In fact, a lot of times we'll actually press in a piece of carbide into the into the actual extended holder so that it, it it's dampens the vibration. Yeah, and if you look at that, I mean, it's unheard of using a modular tool up to three times diameter, and you can do full slotting, you can do side milling with three times diameter, that's really unheard of. And here we have a safe lock connection because it's such a long stick out length. So what it actually does is that if you uh, shrink it in, you screw it in here, you shrink it in here, you slightly twist it to make sure it has a, a perfect security here as well. So basically with the safe lock, you're, it's like a safety belt for your cutting tools that we have patented and standardized in the industry. And more and more people are using it for uh, eye machining, trucker edel milling, you know, CAD CAM optimized uh, cutting tool strategies using the full length of your cutting tool, not the conventional way of uh, ramping in the machine, but right. using a full length, higher speeds, higher feeds. And that's why we say there's this wine opener effect. Like, yeah. uh, you just pull it out. And with Safe Lock, that's a global standard in the industry for preventing that, that you can use and kick your machine to the limit. And the best part is, if you're using this much carbide, you're only paying for this much carbide. Exactly. Like you said, we're not paying for a full, you know, three inch long piece of carbide on top of that, which can get very, very expensive. Absolutely. And all these here, this is pretty much the same style of tooling where it is the adjustable and removable heads. Yes. Tell That's me a little right. bit about this line. So this is the dual lock as well. Oh, it is a dual lock So as we well. have different series. We've got dual lock 10, 12, 16, 25. So there's multiple different connections based on the size cutter that you're going to use. So. Like, like we said, a lot of deep reach stuff, but we also have the ability, let's say in a mill turn machine, which we'll get to it towards the end, but we have the ability to put a dual lock here or in a Swiss turn for a small ER11 collet, we can use the modular system for small work or very large work as well. Do you see these going in live tool lathes as well? Yes, absolutely, because it's very consistent on the length, so you don't have to retouch off your tool. So if you're just changing out a head, you don't have to have the machine door open. You don't have to take the time to reset up. So it's a quick 30 second changeover of the head and you're right. The repeatability the is that tight. Absolutely, Absolutely. so wow. that makes a big difference. And to put it in a nutshell, that's the best repeatability on the length on this on the Z axis. We have the most rigid, most accurate interface in the market. It has a self-differentiated pitch. So that means like 
not only one or two threads are holding the entire weight and load, but we are equally distributing it uh, on the whole entire thread. So other modular systems might break, and I always say that you can do a little bit of milling if you want to come to real milling, plus have the versatility, then go to do a lot. I love it. What do we got over here on the other side of the uh, booth? Sure. Brent. So this is kind of our core products. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we haven't forgotten about that. So the presetters, shrinking and balancing here on the front of the booth, but we've also incorporated a lot of new technologies, and I think Andreas was going to show here. Yeah, so Absolutely. we have a real, true digital revolution today on the booth. So what we are doing on a presetter, presetting is known for a lot of years in the industry, for over decades in the industry, but what are we doing here today, and for the first time, it's really a world premiere on IMTS, so we are turning our presetting device into a digital twin creator, basically, because, you know, a lot of times CAD CAM programming, you need to have digital data, digital models, so you need to download that data from the internet. Mm -hmm. Then you have connectivity issues, so you need 20 minutes, 30 minutes to create your digital twin. What we are doing here, we are scanning and measuring the cutting tool in the holder and creating a digital twin by default, as a default. Right in the same system like the that you're same already system. using. system, absolutely. So I can show you, it's really absolutely. cool. So we, we just open it up and we say another new function, a 3D scan function. So then we are starting to scan the tool holder. So the, the neat part about it, all the, all the tool holder data are stored there. So the machine now moves to the right position. If I press, uh, press enter, it knows already because it has the digital data of all the Heimer tool holding already inside. So what we are doing now is we will, we, will, we will start with measuring the edge. So we want to know, we want to differentiate the cut and the no cut part because the cut part is very important that we can use it right away into our programming. So we will start here basically. And this is a, this is a, 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 a drill basically here, a, a cutting tool with a, with a drill. So we will move on to the cutting edge. I rotate it a little, no. That's nice to be live, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we will rotate it a little bit. We want to measure actually the we want to measure the start of the cutting tool so that we really only measure the the edge of the the actual the actual position. So we say the cutting tool starts here, the drill starts here, we start the measuring point. Now we want to, we, we have said that that's the start, where is our cutting tool start? Now the cutting part, is, as it is a drill, we start over here and we set the position and we start the scan. So what it will be doing, it will scan the whole process and define the cut and the no cut part. And this is fully automatic and then we create a 3D model to be out of it. So basically, you can use that 3D model and directly forward it to the CAD CAM program. And you use that to verify all your, all your NC programs, you use that to prove out your CAM. Absolutely. So you know exactly Absolutely. what you're getting in your machine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And now it's only scanning the relevant part because it already has basically all the other parts. So what we see here, that's our 3D model here generated. And I have a full solid model and I have differentiated here over there. That's the cut part versus the no cut part. So instead of spending 20, 30 minutes on a computer in the CAD CAM office, you know, the shop floor guys are pissed off because, hey, that's the wrong length, you know, you didn't put it together, assemble it digitally correct. We have added a process, not only, me not only have we measured the tool within two minutes, we have created a whole digital twin that is compatible and has the layer structure required by the ISO in order, ISO or DIN or CAD standard, in order to use it right away in your CAD CAM program. And off you go. Off you go. So that's a true digital revolution. Think about all the job shop people that have thousands of tools. If they want to go into CAD CAM, they need probably years of work paying a software engineer, a CAD CAM engineer, spending every time 20, 30 minutes. Here they go within two minutes. So they have it. And, and that, that, was, that was live. That was, that was live. not pre-recorded. That and just happened right now. Right now. And I'm the president. I can operate this machine, you know. I mean, they're live. The digital revolution, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to this side, I see we have some more tool heat shrink type yeah, tooling, maybe if I'm not mistaken. One real quick second. What is also very new uh, in terms of digital revolution, you know, we have a, 
lot of people moving into RFID, or we can create a unique ident number and make a make a make a scanning uh, basically a QR code. But I want to show you these little things. We are moving in Germany in our facility completely paperless. So actually, if if I read here the RFID, I read the RF, uh, if I read the read the code tag of the RFID, it's reading it. I have all my data basically in it. I have a complete digital tool sheet. I can open up the drawing even, you know, to double check it in my shop basically. Not only in the tool room, I don't need to look off for papers. We move complete paperless, complete digital. And the nice thing is, so, okay, we have machines with RFID systems in place, but if you don't have machines with RFID systems in place, our microset tool management and presetting machines, they can actually create an easy QR code, a unique ident number, and I can do the same actually. What I have here, I can do the same and just scan, read QR code. So I scan that in with a little scanning. I have all the same data again. Everything you just pulled up previously. Previously like the same. So you can use RFID or QR and you can move into paperless. And I think now Brent wants to talk a little bit about our shrinking form. Yeah, absolutely. And as we get to this, I just want to say also that what's neat about Heimer is that we make 4,000 tool holders a day. So this kind of stuff that per Andreas day. is talking, per day. Wow. So what Andreas is talking about is because we understand how a production works. And so we need to make it good for our people to get things done effectively too. So Absolutely. So what this is, is a, a shrink machine, again, utilizing um, a data matrix code on the holder. So basically what I did was I scanned the holder. It told me uh, where to position the coil and where, what heating cycles to be in. So we just adjust the coil. We can, just based on what it told you right there? Based on what it told me right there. We bring the coil into position. So heat shrink is a push button technology where you end up with an amazingly fast tool change. So within five seconds, you've changed the tool. You can put your new tool in. It indicates where we should be cooling by this blinking light. And then we can cool this down within 30 seconds. So for those who don't know, usually if you heat shrink, if you don't have cooling like this, you have to leave that out, sit for 15, 20 minutes yeah, in order 15, for that to shrink. 20 minutes. And this this gets you going and back on the floor. Absolutely. And then in the meantime, while that one's cooling, you can do your next tool. And that's the beauty of shrink. Um, and, and people who've worked in the shop for two weeks or 20 years, they're all doing the same process. There's no variable. So you get the most consistent setup of a tool holder assembly each and every time. You don't have the apprentice cranking the screw down too hard or some guy with noodle arms letting those tools go flying. That's Everyone exactly is consistent. Right. Yep, you got it, Ian. That's exactly correct. So again, and these cooling bodies are actually measuring temperature. So it's not time, it's actually temperature. So it's indicating that it's still hot. It's going to start to blink when we can touch it. In the meantime, we do another one, but here you see how quick and easy this process is. That's why a lot of shops are standardizing on shrinking right now, because there's no cleaning the collet, you know, there's no assembling it manually. One operator is doing it differently than the other operator. But you have always the same consistency, no matter if you're in the first shift, third shift, it's very easy to operate. Everything is digital, you can scan it. And talking about digitalization, a lot of people on shop owners ask themselves, where can we start? And we say, hey, the tool room is the place to start. And like a spider in the spider network, basically, you can send from the tool room all the data to your machines and use very consistent setup. So here you see this one's already cool because it's blinking. So now I can grab the tool, put it on my cart, and then bring the next tool in. So you're just doing your very fast tool changes. And that was screaming hot yeah, about a minute and a half hot. ago. Exactly, so very Absolutely fast, crazy. easy process, consistent for run out, everything else, so. And now when we go to tool measurement, I believe over here we have a, is this a presetter? No, this is actually a balancing machine. Oh, a balancing machine. Yep, so this is a balancing machine that allows you to balance the full assembly. So of course at Heimer, we pre-balance our tool holders to a quality grade of G2.5 at 25,000 RPM. But when you assemble it by putting a cutting tool in or uh, inserts in the case of a face mill or you have a boring head and you offset the boring head, you're going to throw that assembly out of balance in many cases. Pretty quickly. Absolutely. You don't know if you did or didn't, so this is a way to confirm. Is it still balanced? If it's not, it tells you how to correct the unbalance, where to either add weight, displace weight, remove weight, numerous methods of how to correct the unbalance by uh, utilizing this machine. And so. that's what Heimer is unique for. We are a system partner, tool holding, cutting tools, shrinking machines, balancing machines, presetting machines, tool management, digital solutions. So all here on this, on IMTS 2022.
too. Yeah. And one thing I know we did want to talk about, well, we got a few minutes here. Yep. There is a new, speaking of digital and automation, a new system out from Heimer. Why don't we go take a peek at that? Yeah, that, for sure. I'm going to follow you guys because this booth's so big, I'm going to get lost. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, products from this day. MGS has been great so far. A lot of different machines, a lot of different uh, machines on display on our. Is it right over there? Uh, far back corner. Then we are here for the industry. We are here for supporting manufacturers, showing our solutions, bringing them in to IMTS, and we call it the digital tool room. Our digital corner here, we see the digital corner, and also brand new. There so is this also here a is the Heimer Automation Cube. Why don't you guys tell me a little bit about this? Yeah. Yeah. So again, you know, there's a skills gap situation all over the world. Let's say. So a lot of people have asked. You know, we're setting up all these tools day in day out. How can we do it effectively in a more automated method? Right. So Heimer developed this Automation Cube. So what we're seeing here is this is actually, maybe best to stand over on this side sure. just to kind of get an eyeball on what's happening. Oh. Yes, sorry. So what we have here, we have actually set up the tools. We put the new tool in the tray, the new cutting tool. It's going to bring the tool holder around, take out the old tool, all automatically within this with a cobot in there, moving the tools, removing the tools. We wow. set our new tool in. We have all kinds of clever things to get the right stick out length. It identifies again the QR code on the holder so it knows which holder it is, what shrinking parameters to use. Shrinks the tools, it, it, you know, extracts the tools and shrinks it back in. And then on this one, we've actually adopted a presetter too. So at the end of the shrinking cycle after it's cooled, it's actually gonna preset the tool as well. Wow. So again, all automated. We could even integrate a balancing machine if that was so something. So now it scans the tool holder, the total tool assembly, it knows exactly which tool, what is the stick out length, what he needs to take out and put in. Then he puts it to the first position and starts the measuring, uh, starts the shrinking in and shrinking out of it. So, so this really is the apex of everything we've seen so far. Absolutely. You've got sh shrinking, automation, tools, uh, presetting all in one machine. You could go put your tool list in here, load your tools, walk away. And basically, if we turn around here a little bit, all the, all, all the things are, auto, you can automate all the machines. Means like, you can have a standalone presetter. If you're investing in a standalone presetter here, you can in the future automate it. So that's the point is, that everything is possible with this automation cube. All the products you've seen, shrinking, balancing, presetting, can be all working together. And one thing which is pretty cool in terms of digitization, so that's only maybe for 1% of the market right now, but maybe in 10 years, people want to move down the path of automation. And we are ready to do that, and we can already offer solutions now. But one real cool thing that's also is a world trend in terms of digitization is here, what we show here, the, the Heidenheim control for the first time actually with a machine, machine hub. So basically, we are actually feeding the data live and are actually putting in the data into the control. So what you have seen on our little digital displays before, then is shown here on the control, on the CNC control. And it's feeding it back to the tool room so they can actually monitor the tool life over there, basically. Absolute connectivity between all machines. Absolutely from the tool room to the CNC controls, and that's what we're showing here, and seamlessly digitization. It's a modular process. You can step-by-step step invest in the products and build it up, basically. Now, if people want to learn more about this, and Heimer in general, where can they find you guys online? Well, uh, www.heimer.com, basically, or heimer-usa.com, and we have a, a lot of videos, a lot of application examples, and uh, in every kind of language you speak, and uh, yeah, it was really nice to show you around Thank our you MGS booth, and please come by, step our booth, uh, we have a lot of to show and explain to you. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, Ian, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much by. for having me, guys. Nice Make sure you, you come yeah. see Heimer.